Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Happy bloody Australia Day, you bastards. Don't forget, share that last video, right? Right, so, Alfredo gave this one a varnish up the other day. We had a big bucket full and poured um, heaps into it. And uh, this is going to be done. I'm moving Parrot from here across over to there where his father was. His father went with um, uh, Chick's Popper last night out on a motorbike for a ride to his place. So I want to take him today and put him over there and I want to regenerate all this through here. So I've had enough of this. But back to the bamboo, so that one's finished. So I said to Alfredo, and it took him an afternoon to do that. So I said to Alfredo, when you want to work again next week, just let us know the day before. I said, so I can wash down the front bamboo gazebo rum beer drinking thingamajiggy dooby dacky dicky dicky dacky thing and the um, gatehouse as well. So anyway, yesterday Chick Chick said to me, this afternoon, she goes, hon. I said, yes, dolls. She goes, hon. I said, yes, dolls. Oh, here comes Papa now, look. Mm. Papa. Hello. So she said, oh, Alfredo's coming, coming on, they went to Thursday to let you know so you can wash everything down. So I said, all right, dolls, thank you. Thank you, dolls. You're just fucking wonderful, dolls. So, there's a hose here. I put the, when I done the house, I had to put one one uh, tap outside. That was up the outer end. So I ended up putting about half a dozen around the house with the um, uh, three quarter inch line all the way through. So there's one here. So this is what we use for water in the garden. But I'm gonna fold this one back up again because we got those new hoses from um, from Bob and Joy and that will run off of the uh, the one next to the laundry and that will reach all the way around here so we don't have to worry about it. So this one here will get retired. But in the meantime, what I use for water at the front, I put a connection down at the front. You've got to have fucking water everywhere, guys, you know. Water and electricity, which I do. I, do have, I have water and electricity every fucking way. So what I did is I run the black polythene pipe here all the way down to the front gatehouse and I've tied it up nice and high the same as the security one here so that way it doesn't get hit by the brush cutter it doesn't lay on the ground get hit by the mower or the brush cutter or whatever you know it's always nice and high so that's it this here now i didn't have a right angle i only had a t so all i did was just put this in and uh, hot welded the end close with a blowtorch so this is my blanking plug is what that is so this is the hose connection here this is a one-way valve in here so the water can only go forward not back Okay, so this is always charged with water. So this is now clicked onto here, the garden hose over there. When we turn that on, it'll go through this one-way valve, go down here and go down to the front gate. Let's go down there. Right, so as you can see, it's nice height. It's nice and high all the way down here. Okay, all the way down. Snake alley, looking, looking, chicking, bang! What a beautiful day it's turning out to be. The weather map is showing all clouds, so it's probably going to rain this afternoon. Right, so we come along here, down to here, and I've got the tap here. This hose here, I've got it stretched out in the sun so that it can um, soften up so I can roll it back up onto here again. And it just stays rolled up here. So what I've done is I've got this all washed down, completely washed all the way around on the sides, all the driveway parts done, the uh, sliding gate area. So I've washed all this area down, but tomorrow Alfredo will, will paint all this with a varnish, the same. Nice and dark colour. Hello, mate. How they hanging? How they hanging? Look at you go. <laughs> right, and the little one, Papa only wanted the smaller one. Our one cost 25 grand, the one at the back. It's bigger. It's bigger. Bigger. And this one was only 20 grand. This is the only, this is what he wanted. He just wanted somewhere that, um, when he does his harvest and all that stuff, then he's got somewhere at the end of the day, they all sit down together and chew the fat and talk shit to each other and have a uh, bottle of tandoori, a bit of brandy, and some, maybe some soda water or some water and some ice and I'll just sit there. So this is not really too big. It's You can get free across, but it's, you know, a little bit too much close for me. But, um, you know, you can get, um, what's that, free, you get nine in here, no problem, but six is better, uh, definitely. So this one is what Alfredo's going to do tomorrow. Now because of the road there, there was lots of dust on this, so I've hosed a whole lot down from top to bottom, and it's looking sexy as shit now. 
So Alfredo tomorrow can do this one. And all that Popper had before was, believe it or not, on here he had a table. It was a high table, probably about a metre tall. And it was probably about, um, uh, what, about a foot and a half wide and probably about three foot long. And they just come along here and that's, that's what they used to have for their drinky poos of an afternoon. That's what they have. And they have the hammock tied up to the tree and I just sit there and drink and talk and do all that good stuff. Oh, there goes Pop. Hey on Pop. Hey on. I'll get it for him so he can get off. That was a quick visit. Oh. Welcome, Bobba. Mm. Alright, so people have asked, why do I call him Popper? Well, because he's Chick's Popper. No one looks at that. You know, it's like, um, I, I think. I think they just prefer you just calling a mummer and popper, you know, and that's it. Now, because I've got some trolls out there who go, God, look at you, you're 61 years old, you married a 20 year old girl. Well, fucking chick is over the moon on that. She said, don't delete that bastard, hun. Fucking keep him going. Fucking A. Eh? So I did, I kept that one. I said, well, I'm not going to fucking delete that one off, dolls. So um, I've got a few more comments saying, um, how much of a child Melissa already married a, such a young girl? Chick is fucking happy over the moon, I tell you. I'm not going to tell you chick's real age, though, but um, I'll tell you, she's fucking happy. Fucking happy. So, like I said, back to this. So this is all washed down now. I've got all the roof, all the dust on the inside, all the way down. And now, Papa, uh, not Papa, Alfredo tomorrow, he can do this one here. I'll probably end up looking at that one over there in the days to come ahead, months ahead, years ahead, or some fucking thing. But we're going to turn into an office for chick. We're, um, she's got the, uh, the internet there. And she's got got the um, she got the two photocopiers there, scanners, printers, fucking whatever. And uh, she was going to open up the business for um, people who need photocopying of their documents, fucking all that type of shit. There's one way up in the other village that opened up, and um, I said to you, you should have gone in before them. But uh, there's one way up in the other village, but that won't affect. But it can cover all this area here, and she even paid their bills online for them as well. You know, like, for example, um, our electricity bills, we used to go into town and pay that shit, but we don't do that fucking stuff anymore. No, 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 no. So now everything's done online. You can't pay it online like a normal world. You know, oh, you racist bastard. Oh, fucking A. So the normal world, my my um, electricity company is called XYZ Electricity, and um, I can go onto their web page and I can type in the bill number and the amount details bang 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 and hit the button and deduct it from my account straight away well here you can't do that it's fucking philippines but you can go the back door you can pay somebody else who can go in the back door and pay so you can do all this type of stuff and it saves a lot of time because these people have got to go all the way into town just to pay their bloody monthly bill you know it's like in the old days chick was telling me they used to they used to um collect the money when they read the meter i suppose that was quite good really i suppose if you had the money you know Right, so that's the GA guy, so I'm afraid, I'm really sorry I disappointed you and I didn't show you for half an hour of me hosing it all down and washing all the dust down and all that type of stuff. I'm really disappointed in that, but I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. So, it's coming now just after 10, so I'm going to go and have a coffee. So like I said, I've got this hose rolled out here, so this will warm up in the sun, it'll be more flexible. When it's more flexible, I can roll it up. Because on cold days, of course, it's as hard as a wake-up call of a morning, mate. It's as hard as a wake-up call of a morning. So, it's out in the sun, and I'll leave that there. So after I have coffees, coffees and lovely banana cake mm -hmm, from lovely Joy and Bob, and then I'm going to hook up that, um, that second 100-foot um, expandable hose. Now, that should go good because it's right next to the free... It's, it's connected to the three-quarter inch... Um, right in the pump house, so it should be good pressure. But trouble with those expandables is they're like ex wife, you know, they're very unfucking reliable. Is the fact that you need a lot of pressure to get them to work. So, when my tank, for example, these tanks they shut off at 40 psi, that's it, and then when it drops down to 20 psi, it's, the pump starts in again. So, um, the maximum you're going to have is like 40 psi through the hose. So, the one at the peak pen, I can run beautifully with the with the um, backup pump, you know, the, the booster pump. But I use that a lot before, anyway, I use that a lot 
when I do all the hosing down to get the pressure up. So um, that one is okay. That will stay there. So what I'm going to do, I'll get that second bitch out of the box over here. Look, here he is, down over here. After a smoko. And I'll connect him on here, and I'll see how I go with this. Because like I said, this is the three-quarter inch that I put in. And uh, just do it yourself, guys. Seriously, and if you've got someone building your house, make sure you fucking supervise him 100%. Trust me. I don't think... I don't think there would be a Western person who built a house in the Philippines who hasn't been stressed out, fucking ready to walk away. Seriously. But anyway, who gives a fuck? All right, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, all that bullshit. And happy Australia Day. Bye, guys.